Welcome to this video. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make a uh, compressor wheel or even turbine blades. This is an example of something that I made earlier and uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to make this as a concept. If I uh, open a part, so in the sketch screen I'll select my top plane and become normal. Let's say I want my wheel to be six inches around. And then I'll extrude that to about an eighth inch thick. I'll go ahead and make another um, extruded face. And I'll make this one inch around. And I'll extrude that two inches. So now all you have to do is make a bunch of blades around this point and perhaps do a revolve cut that shape the blades correctly. To make those blades, I'm going to do a loft function. If you have not seen a loft before, you can find that video here on how to loft. At this point, I'll begin my loft by selecting this top face and starting a sketch. I'll delete these relations. I'll make this coincident. No need to make it uh, pierced, just coincident. I'll make these lines parallel and these lines parallel. Finally, relation to make them perpendicular. In fact, I'll make them equal length as well. So now I have a square. I'm going to add some center lines and make one center line horizontal. I'm going to add another center line going straight to the origin. And now I can make a relationship between these two lines and I'll show you why that is significant in just a little bit. Finally, finishing off uh, the constraints, I'll make this 45 degrees and I will make this, this is going to be the thickness of our blade, I'll make it one tenth of an inch thick. Exit sketch now that we're fully constrained. So I can loft this into the center place here and that will make our first turbine blade. So I'm going to sketch off of this plane now, and I plan on making one blade and doing a, uh, a circular pattern of the feature after that. If I sketch on this plane, I will get zero uh, thickness. So I'm going to make a plane off of the front plane. A tenth of an inch is fine. And I'll sketch on that one normal, and I'll do a sectional view off of this plane as well. That should make it pretty easy to see. So I'm going to sketch off of plane one. And I'm going to start off by making a line. I'm going to make this line also a tenth of an inch thick. I'm going to select my midpoint and put it on my origin. In fact, I'll make it coincident. There we go. So we're fully defined there. You can make the geometry of your blade however you'd like. I'm going to make a, a nice curvature. Finish that off there. Perfect. And I'll add a center line going from the center of this one to the center of this one. I'm going to make this, this, and this all equal length. And that will make the blade have an equal thickness all the way around. I'm going to put a relation on here as well to make it vertical. Uh, there are many, many different ways to constrain this sketch. This is simply one of those ways. I will now add center line 
to one part. I'll make it a certain distance. It doesn't matter what distance, I just like having it constrained. Select these two and say tangent. So I have my blade starting straight up and down and curving out. Finally, I'll add a radius onto this blade and I'll make it five inches. That's not a bad uh, distance right there. I'll make this point 3.5 inches. I'll make this have a height instead of a length and I'll make it four inches. No, too much. I'll make it two inches. Nope, too little. I'll make it 2.5 inches. Notice uh, this vertical means that you have a varying thickness of the blade as it moves up. Normally you can uh, uh, work on this line and make it not uh, vertical to maintain a consistent thickness. Since this is just an example, I want to get through this relatively quickly and I'll ignore that. So we have another sketch. I'll rebuild this and get rid of my sectional view. Now I can make a loft from here to here, but I'm going to add in a guide curve as well. So I'm going to sketch on this face and add in a three-point arc, which will give us a nice curvature. I'm going to pierce here. I'm going to select this point. And I'm going to pierce here. And then I can give it a radius. I think a radius of two inches should be fine. And I'll exit. Now we're ready to loft. Loft and boss base. I will choose this feature, this sketch, and it, are, it automatically makes sketch six a guide curve. So now I've got a turbine blade, and I can do a revolve cut to trim the end of that down if I want to. If I remove sketch six, I still have some curvature. It seems to work a lot better with the guide curve. If I bring that into actuality, there we go. Now I will uh, hide this plane because it's annoying. Get normal to this, and I will choose circular pattern. Let's say I want to have 10 blades. Um, in order to get them equal length around, I'll show you what happens if, if I don't do that. Uh, we'll select this feature and also as a parameter I'll have it go around this circle there. I've got 10 blades, they're not even, so I'm just going to say 360 divided by the number of blades that I have. So if I wanted to have 8 blades, then I would say 360 divided by the number of blades I have, which is eight, and it will automatically make it better that way. Uh, I think 10 is a good number. Why not? So 360 divided by 10, which is 36 degrees. And there we have our blades. Had I put the sketch not on plane one, but on the front plane, it uh, could have very possibly created zero thickness geometry. Anyway, so now we are well on our way to having these, uh, having a complete compressor, axial centrifugal compressor. If I didn't like any of this, I simply go to my loft and I can edit any of those sketches that I've made. Let's say I wanted a sharper curvature. I can have less of a radius. I can say 4.75 gives me a bit of a sharper line. 4.25. There's a sharp line. Notice I have the sketch. I have it coming off of our central pillar. If I rebuild the sketch with that geometry, you'll see that it comes out prematurely. Uh, that's not great for an axial centrifugal compressor, and that's something to keep in mind too. I, not to say that I can't use that radius, I would simply use uh, different dimensions here. 
I think five looks just fine. And there we have it. Okay. I'll do a section view, but this time it's very important I do it off the front plane and not plane one. And we are exactly half. Looks kind of funny with uh, not being able to see all of those blades, but you should be just fine. So I'm going to sketch on the front plane, and I'm going to make a cut along what my housing so I want my blade to sit flush with this point and I'll make this four inches high because it doesn't hurt to make it higher I'll make this also two inches Perfect. Now we just need to come up with a way of connecting things. So I'll come out here, and I will come out here. Oh, coincident with that. That works. And then I'll make a nice, smooth, gradual transition. I can set that to be 6. No six inch radius. So I'm going to do a revolved cut. That's perfect. Again, you can make these any way you want. And you can make a extruded cut through the center to make it a little bit more realistic. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it was of any help, please subscribe because that's the best way to help me back. And otherwise, I'll catch you next time.